Yo, what's going on guys, man? Today we've got an absolute banger. Welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops 2 in 2023. Ah, the memories I have on this game. So this game came out in 2012, which is like 11 years ago. I was literally 12 years old. And this was the Call of Duty, in my opinion, that took everything to the next level. And mainly when it comes to camos. And that's exactly why we are back on Black Ops 2 today, because we are going to be unlocking the diamond camo in 2023 for those of you young ones you might not know but diamond was actually the max camo that you could get in this game there was no dark matter or anything like that and this was actually the first game with the diamond camo before this it was only gold you guys have been absolutely loving this series so far we did the black ops 4 dark matter in 2023 the cod world war 2 chrome we did bo3 dark matter infinite warfare black sky and now we're unlocking diamond on black ops 2 in 2023 so let's say what uh 2000 likes on this video and i'll go back to modern warfare 2019 to unlock damascus Hey, by the way, I just found out that over 80% of you are watching these videos without being subscribed. So listen, if you're watching this right now, subscribe to the channel. We're on that road to 400k. So please, if you're watching, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel now, please. It's so funny because a lot of your favorite weapons from, I don't know, BO3 or BO4 actually originated from this game right here. The MSMC, which is the XMC in BO3. Crazy. Even the Peacekeeper, which in this game was the first DLC weapon ever in Call of Duty. But what's most important for this video is the camos. Treyarch also introduced all of the DLC camos in this game too. This is where it all started to get crazy. Look at that, weaponized 115, legendary. I still love you. Now let's get into the important part. I'm gonna be unlocking the diamond camo for the LMGs now. There's a huge problem. This game is absolutely filled with hackers so literally for the past week i've been going for their headshots for these weapons and hackers keep resetting me back bro i'm not even joking i've lost my progress four times now but i really want to get this so this is my last time trying wish me luck first off we need to get around 100 headshots with each of them so then we can hop into the next challenges there's a lot to do it's gonna take a while so yeah let's get into it again So the first LMG I did was their MK48. I'll be honest, I have to show a lot of this just so I can prove to you guys that I was doing it all legit. And also to show you that I was doing the headshots from scratch. There's so many hackers on this game that I feel like I have to prove this just so it's authentic. But this was probably one of the easier LMGs to do. I'm not going to lie. This thing shoots in a straight line and I was fighting bot lobbies. I'm not going to lie. I was just getting very good feeds with simply headshots. Trust me, it doesn't always go like this. And just to prove to you that even when it doesn't seem like a hacker is in the lobby, a hacker is most likely in the lobby. I got all the headshots as you guys saw. I wanted to switch my class, so I jumped off the map. Somehow, the hacker made it so I couldn't kill myself to switch classes. <laughs> Now you can see how this took me around 10 hours to get all of their headshots for all the LMGs. And that's not including all the other times I did it and got reset by hackers. It's been ridiculous, but here's some proof. There you go. I'm actually going for these headshots legit playing naturally and it's the most annoying thing. But this is the QBB. This is probably the worst LMG out of all of them. I'll be honest. Look, 20 headshots. That's just proof that I had no headshots to start off with. But this is the LSAT. This is probably my favorite LMG out of all of them. Look how much I'm popping off. Triple headshot feeds. I'm going crazy. If you don't know, this was the best LMG in Black Ops 2. Like, this was so broken back in the day. So, this one was a breeze. I'll be honest. I actually had fun going for this one. It was so easy. That one was done quickly. Next up, we've got the Hammer LMG, which is basically the Scar, but as an LMG we're pretty familiar with that with like modern warfare 2 and how their system works but this one was decent it's not the best but it's also not the worst this one actually took me a while because i was running into a bunch of hackers at this point however shout out to the hackers that were keeping the map on hijacks that's a thing by the way but yeah saying that most of the hackers are terrible horrible people that will kill you off spawn instantly and stop you from being able to leave the game i'm spamming to try and leave and it's impossible do you know how insane that is that's just literally bullying at that point i finally managed to find a game that appears to have zero hackers until 
the hacker decides to end the game early. This goes to the point <laughs> where hackers can just end the game whenever they want. What is this? Okay. Man? Six hours later. Okay, so after getting all the headshots, for some reason, I've been kicked offline or kicked off of the servers of Black Ops 2. If you see this, look, if I click on Xbox Live, you must be signed into Xbox Live to play Xbox Live matches. I'm on Xbox Live. Everything's fine. I'm connected. But it just booted me off the game. Now, this has happened multiple times. And when I've restarted the game and tried to sign back in, it's taken away all my progress. So if that's happened again, I'm about to lose full multiplayer. And let me rock. I've just done all the headshots. It's taken me hours. Connected to online services. See how I was actually online? Okay, I didn't get a message. Have I still got my stuff? Let me see. Oh, thank God. Oh, my. Nah, I was actually so scared. You guys have no idea. I've done this three times now. I've got all the headshots three times in a row across multiple days and my data just keeps getting erased now what i've done is made sure my xbox is on at all times so it can't turn off but then that happened and i got kicked off the game and that's what made me so scared but anyway now we've got all the headshots for all the lmgs let me just show you guys real quick all the headshots for the hammer all the headshots for the lsat all the headshots for the qbb and also all the headshots for the mk48 hopefully i'll be able to show you how much progress i've had to make for all of these but for pretty much all of these lmgs i've had to get damn near all of the headshots so this has been a grind for sure very tedious especially with all the hackers that are in the game of course there's not many players on the game too so it's difficult to find lobbies especially when it's only team deathmatch any other playlist you won't be able to find anyone even in hardcore although there's 49 people in the playlist i wasn't able to find anyone in there so i had to do all the headshots in core on team deathmatch running into hackers all of that but the rest of the challenges are not too too difficult 10 long shots that's light 150 kills with no attachments isn't too difficult 150 kills with no perks 20 double kills should be easy too 10 blood thirsties i'll just camp and focus on that and then we'll have gold for all of the lmgs and then we should get a diamond camo so i need to do that for all the lmgs gonna take a while i'm not sure how much of this i'm actually going to show you because i know it's gonna be very boring but let's go Jeez, okay. Hey, I could have got a nuke that game if it was a little bit longer. By the way, oh yeah, the reason why I'm not talking over these parts live is just because this was over such a long span of time, which honestly just makes this the best way to do it for your experience anyway. But with those last couple long shots, we managed to finish off the LSAT. Basically having it gold, I honestly just saved a couple kills for the end of the video to unlock diamond with. So then we moved on to again, the hammer LMG, which uh, long story short, had a few few complications anyway i'm not gonna bore you with the rest of the challenges let's just say i got a bunch of kills with it ended up finishing it off with a bunch of long shots and then we got the hammer gold so then as you should probably guess i moved on to the last two lmgs it was going smooth honestly i was getting all of the camo challenges done just like i did with the other two got to the final ones and then the thing i was dreading the most the biggest turn of events just has to happen Team Deathmatch. Light him up. Carly. Oh. Just not moving, hoping to. I got D rank. I think I just lost everything. And he just crashed my game. Hold on. If I've just lost everything, then I'm about to lose full. Boys, I'm telling you, if I click on this right now and I've lost everything, then this is like bad vibes. Like, this is actually. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I've lost everything. I've lost absolutely everything. This guy just corrupted my file and I've lost all the progress on my camos. Legit, all the progress I just made, all the gold camos I got, I've lost it all. I'm over this, bro. I'm over it. A few moments later. I'm in the hacker's game. I need my stuff back, bro. Please. Look, I asked him, can you get my stuff back then? And he said, yeah, I can get your stuff back. So we're about to see what's about to happen. I will be honest, I'm very scared. It's one o'clock in the morning. I've been grinding all day day for the camos i was so close i was a couple camos away from diamond and then this guy takes her away from me i don't know why i expected to be able to come back to black ops 2 and even unlock the camos just with the sheer amount of hackers that are on this game but after my third time trying we got so close by the way i can't be too loud because it's so late okay i'm a little bit scared maybe i shouldn't trust Damn this guy man. i don't know okay it says it's giving me a bunch of stuff 190 nine kills all achievements unlocking what's going on bro can i get my camos back oh he's giving me the camos this <laughs> This is how you unlock diamond in Black Ops 2 now. I can't believe it. Look, all camos unlocked. I already had everything but the LMGs. That's what's crazy. And I was two camos away from having it unlocked. And then this guy right here Hello took there. it away from me. Do I have, <laughs> finally, do I have the diamond camo? I do. <laughs> <laughs> we unlocked the diamond camo for the LMGs in Black Ops 2. If that doesn't perfectly sum up Black Ops 2 in 2023, then I don't know what does. Oh my goodness. I just wish you guys could understand what I've been through to try and get this diamond camo on this game. It's been ridiculous. But hey, for my pain and suffering, make sure you guys drop a like. All right, let's check out the diamond camo in Black Ops 2 in 2023. I mean, it looks cool. It looks kind of mid though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't look that crazy. Don't get me wrong. For Black Ops 2, it looks sick. Like the actual camo itself is fire. It's just the graphics aren't the best. You gotta remember... Bro, are you flipping serious, bro? Like, can I play it? Now you see what I was going through. This is ridiculous. Bro, we're flying across the map on dogs. I am so over this, bro. Twenty-four hours later, and here's the diamond camo with updated graphics. This thing looks insane. <laughs> <laughs> way better bro wow i had enough of it i had to get away from the hackers this is the pc version plutonium which is exactly the same thing but of course on pc and i'm able to change my fov which is even better which i will say is very weird right now it feels so weird okay there we go two piece and a biscuit i will say this diamond camo holds a special place in my heart boys i'm not gonna lie it really does this is like the first camo grind that i ever went on of course modern warfare 3 had gold which i'm sure you guys know but who really cares about gold you know it was nothing special this was the first game to have that proper grind to it i know it wasn't dark matter but at the time this felt like getting dark matter bro i'm telling you i remember rushing home after a long day of school and grinding camos and it's so funny because we would always compare what we have done if that makes sense we'd be like hold up i've got the ar's gold what have you got i've got the ar's diamond what have you got you know it would always be a comparison hold up i wish i had time to reload i don't think i do got the uav oh why would you look at me i remember when they added the peacekeeper and that was insane because we were like wait a dlc weapon what's this having a new submachine gun added after the release of the game was the most wild thing back in the day it's so funny because i was 12 years old and i was so hyped that i managed to get gold on the peacekeeper the day that it came out i thought that was the craziest thing clearly looking back now it wasn't that impressive but hey 12 year old me that was impressive boys i'm telling you of course though the main thing is for me to get away 
from the hackers. And that's why we're on here. I wish I was able to... Ooh. Ooh. I wish I was able to unlock the camos on here. Trust me. I tried. I tried to unlock the camos on here. But apparently, the camos don't actually track. So you just have to do an unlock all on Plutonium. Or at least on Black Ops 2's version anyway. It would have been great if I could have grinded the diamond camo on this game. Just naturally. I've really been enjoying hopping on these past Call of Duty's to get the mastery camos. It puts me in the shoes of myself that year when that game was released, you know? Because it's a certain feeling that you get from unlocking the camos on a game. And you can't really get that back. But coming back years after, you kind of get that feeling a little bit again. It reminds you of how the game felt to grind it all those hours. Especially with Black Ops 2. It's been so long since I've properly experienced this. You know, I've revisited this game since then, of course. But definitely not grinded camos. That's a whole different element to it. This has been a journey. This has honestly been a journey. A lot of you are probably wondering what other diamond weapons I have. I have pretty much everything else diamond but the LMGs for whatever reason. I guess the LMGs just weren't really as popular back in the day. Just not something that I wanted to grind camos for. But trust me, when it came to ARs and SMGs, I had them on lock. Bro, you can shoot through so much on this game. Oh! <laughs> Oh, there's so many people here. So many of them. We're streaking up on the lights. Oh no. Oh no. We could have dropped a new. But yeah, like I said, 2,000 likes on this video, and I'll go back and unlock Damascus all over again on Modern Warfare 2019. But also, let me know in the comments if you want me to play this game more because it feels really good. I'm having way too much fun.